Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Wednesday morning. So glad you're able to join us, uh, Tom and I, with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. I hope you're having a great day. I have my morning tea to start off my day, and I hope you have your morning beverage. And let us begin praising God. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare declare your your praise. praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit. as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, come, let us worship him. O come, Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God our light in our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 132. Lord, remember David and all the hardships that he endured. Those sticky pages. How he had swore the oath, uh, an oath to the Lord and bowed a, a vow of the mighty one of Jacob. I will not come under the roof of my house nor climb up into my bed. I will not allow my eyes to sleep nor let my eyelids slumber until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The ark, we heard it from, heard it was in Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of Jerusalem. Let us go to God's dwelling place. Let us fall upon our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, until his resting place and in the ark of of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your faithful people sing with joy. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away from the face of your anointed. The Lord has sworn an oath to David in truth. He will not break it. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. If your children keep their covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children will sit upon your throne forevermore. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has has desired her for his habitation. This uh, shall be my resting place forever. Here will I dwell, for I delight in her. I will surely bless her uh, provisions. And satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation. And her faithful people with rejoicing and singing. There will there will I make the horn of David flourish. I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. As for her, his enemies, I will clothe them with shame. But as for him, his crown will shine. Let us pray. Lord God, our King, you have chosen the new Zion as your dwelling place. The church as your place of rest. You have kindled in it the lamp that will burn brightly forever before Christ, your anointed one. Make our hearts your tabernacle, clothe your people with holiness, and give bread to the poor, that we may rejoice and sing to you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, let us continue to see what is going on with the Danites in chapter 18, beginning with verse 16. Now the 600 men of the Danites that armed with their weapons of war stood by the entrance of the gate and the five men who had gone to spy out the land went up and entered and took the graven image, the ephod and the teraphim and the molten image while the priests stood by the entrance of the gate with the 600 men armed with weapons of war. And when these went uh, into Micah's house and took the graven image, the ephod and the teraphim and the molten image, the priest said to them, what are you doing? And they said to him, Keep quiet, put your hands upon your mouth, and come with us, and be to us a father and a priest. It is better for you to be a priest to the house of the one man than to be a priest of a tribe and family in Israel. And the priest's heart was glad. He took the ephod and the teraphim and the graven images and went to the midst of the people. So they turned and departed, putting the little ones and the cattle and the goods in front of them. When they were a good way from the house of Micah, the men who were in the house near Micah's house were called out, and they overtook the Danites. And they shouted to the Danites, who turned round and said to Micah, What ails you that you came with such a company? And he said, You take my gods, which I made, and the priests, 
and I go away, and what have I left? How then do, I, do you ask me what ails you? And the Danites said to him, Do not let your voice be heard among us, lest angry fellows fall upon you, and you lose your life for the lives of your household. Then the Danites went their way, and when Micah saw that they were too strong for him, he turned and went back to his house. And taking what Micah had made, and the priest who belonged to him, the Danites came to Laish, to the, uh, Laish, to the people, quiet and unsuspecting, and smote them with the edge of the sword, and burned the city with fire. And there was no deliverer, because it was f- far from Sidon, and they had no dealings with anyone. It was in the valley which belonged to the Beth Rehob, and they built the city and dwelt in it. And they named the city Dan, and after the name of Dan, their ancestor, he was born of Israel. But the name of the city was Laish, uh, Laish at the first. And the Danites set up the graven images for themselves. And Jonathan, the son of, of Gershom, son of Moses, and his sons were priests of the tribe of the Danites until the day of the captivity of the land. So they set up Micah's graven images, which he had made, as long as the house of uh, as long as the house of God was in Shiloh. The word of the of the word of God, the word of the Lord. Thanks be, be to God. God. Hmm. Interesting story. Ah. Our second reading comes from Acts, the eighth chapter, beginning with verse fourteen. Now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent to them Peter and John, who came down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For it had not yet fallen on any of them, but they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Now when Simon saw that the Spirit was given through the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money, saying, Give me also the power that any one of, of whom you that I lay my hands on may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, Your silver perish with you, because you thought you could obtain the gift of God with money. You have neither part nor lot in this matter, for your heart is not right before God. Repent, therefore, of the wickedness of yours, and pray to the Lord that, if possible, the intent of your heart may be forgiven you. For I see that you are in, you're in a gall of bitterness, and in the bond of iniquity. And Simon answered, Pray for me to the Lord, that nothing of what you have said may come upon me. Now, when they had testified and spoken the word of the Lord, they returned to Jerusalem, preaching the gospel to many villagers of the Samaritans. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O Almighty God, whom to to know is everlasting life, grant us without all doubt to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that following his steps we may steadfastly walk in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in any adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your will. Lord, all these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Wednesday morning. I hope you have a great day. Pastor Matthew will be on this evening with evening prayer, and I'm sure Gracie will stick her nose in there somewhere. And I hope to see you tomorrow morning. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.